Hi, my name is James Uren and I'm the Technical Director here at Mosis. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how to set up Cinematic XR Focus. Uh, now, Cinematic XR Focus is a, a special um, tool that we've developed inside the Unreal Engine, inside VP Pro, that copes with a particular problem that you have in a virtual production stage with, with Focus. So I'm going to demonstrate the, the problem first. So if I want to pull focus from my real world subject to these trees in the background, for example, and I try and do that with my um, follow focus here, I'm going to just rack to infinity. There we go, and I'm, I'm at infinity. But of course, what's happened is now the LED wall itself is out of focus um, because our focal uh, plane is behind the LED wall. So what Cinematic XR Focus does is it holds the physical focus of the lens at the LED wall but continues the focus pull in virtual, allowing us to pull seamlessly between real and virtual objects. So if we come back to the subject, and now I'm gonna just enable uh, Cinematic XR Focus. And now I'm gonna pull focus again. So now here we are focused on the subject. Now I'm gonna pull focus to those branches. And now I'm gonna to throw to infinity. And you can see I have a seamless readout on the uh, focus uh, for the focus puller. So they read out infinity here, but actually the physical motors have stopped at whatever 15 feet um, to hold the screen sharp so we can continue in virtual focus. OK, so let's see how to set this up. So we're going to jump in here with a scene that's already set up on uh, end display. Um, if you'd like to see how to do that, you can look at a previous tutorial video where I step through that process. So we're in the um, Australia scene here from Epic Games, free to download from the marketplace. And you can see here's my end display configuration. I've actually got two cameras in this scene. Uh, we're interested in this camera. Uh, and if I look at the end display camera, you'll see this has a new component on it, which we've added just using the add menu here. Um, we're going to add the Cinematic XR Focus component. I've already added it to this camera. And then we've just got a few settings on there we need to set. So the first one is the COM port. Now, the focus controller is connected to the end display node. So I'm just going to dial into that node over VNC here, and you can see I'm now inside that, uh, that node. This is the node that's driving the screen right now. And in Device Manager, you can see I've got a, my USB to serial uh, connection on the back of the machine that's going from the end display node to the focus controller uh, is coming up as COM3. So I need to make sure that I've got that number there, 3, and I'm going to tell Unreal that it's using COM3. So we'll close that and then just check here that we've got the COM port set to 3. Cinematic XR Focus currently supports both Teradec motors and uh, Preston motors. Um, we've got a Teradec motor here, so you just select that in this drop down box. And the screen offset is important too. This is um, an offset that we can add to the, um, the focus to help mitigate the problem of moiré. So if the screen is pin sharp, we might find that we start to see the moiré effect. On, uh, on our output. So we can increase this number to pull the, the transition point where the, the real focus hands over to the virtual. We can pull that off the LED wall. In this case, I've pulled it off by 50 centimeters. A couple more things to, to set. Uh, in the end display config, which you can get to through here, um, on the plane, we need to make sure that collision is set to custom and the object type is LED. That's because we use the collision system to determine where the camera is pointing and how far away it is from the LED wall. And one last checkbox, uh, which is on the Mosis lens end display. We just need to check manual focus here to make sure that we're not receiving the focus information from Star Trek as encoder. We're taking it from the, the Teradec instead. And that's really it. Uh, you then just deploy that in the normal way using switchboard uh, with those new settings and the controller plugged into the correct COM port on your render node. Um, in a multi-node system, you just plug this into the primary render node and then uh, it will transmit the signal to all of the other nodes. That's it for this tutorial. Hopefully that helps you set up cinematic XR focus in your LED stage. If you have any other questions or need any other support, please contact support at mosis.com.